I was at the grocery store and right as I was passing this kid who's probably like 11, I hear <laughs> like cough, dry cough. Um, and I was like, run. And then I got to the tortilla aisle and there were, there's one t package of tortillas and I grabbed it and it was broken. And I was like, Oh, I can't have tortillas. And then I gave up and I, uh, was in line and this lady tells me, um, or this lady and I were talking, about, I was like, I can't believe they're out of tortillas. And she goes, um, she goes, yeah, I tried to get that bag of tortillas too. And I was like, you touched it? I was like, oh no, those are the coronavirus tortillas. It's like, there's one bag, so that it's bait for everyone. To all We're all going to touch it. But um, I, I don't know if that kid was sick. I know that people cough all the time. But if he was sick um, and his dad didn't leave him in his car or leave him at home, it's bad enough that you have a sick family member and you're going to the store. It's, it's especially bad if you bring the sick family member to the store. I, I don't know if he had... Coronavirus, and I don't know anything about that sort of thing, but what what I am saying is that um, we need to criminalize um, going in public while sick. There needs to be a law, like during this state of emergency, that says that if you knowingly go into public with flu-like symptoms or like or coronavirus-like symptoms, which are the same, then you um, can either be charged with manslaughter or negligent homicide if someone dies um and like it needs to be made clear before the law kicks in but if we're gonna do that then what we need to do is um start a recruitment right now for people to join the national guard or the national pick up food for you network so the federal government needs to have a plan where they are like organizing people to supply sick people so that sick people don't feel like they are alone in this because we don't want sick people going to the store. But if they do go to the store after we have said, here's how we will take care of you. Cause I understand you got to go to the store if you, if you got, but like still, I mean, we need to make sure people aren't alone. And we need to make sure that people have backup and people have someone that's going to be at the store or that, that will go to the store for them that's healthy. And they can drop, like, I just I just went and picked up a hoodie that I ordered online um, because I had points because I have a dividend from REI because I'm a member. And they they made me, like, show my picture through the glass and then I had to stand behind a table and then she put the item on the table and then I picked it up from her. Um, like that, Like, we need to organize people getting stuff that way. But I understand you can get deliveries through the internet, and that's that might be the real secret to doing it, um, is that if you're sick, just get deliveries. But all I'm saying is, in, in, in addition to that, the most important thing we need to do is decide um, you going to the store if you are sick, especially if you're like knowingly, it's like, it's like trying to kill someone or trying to make, trying to hurt someone. It's attempted murder. Uh, we need to we need to we need to put a law behind it and, and say this is criminal. Uh, but I, like I said, I don't know if that guy's kid was actually sick. Uh, my mom said that she coughed the other day because she has lung problems, and then everyone was like, "Oh my gosh!" And she's like, "No worry, I have lung problems. I cough all the time, um, just like smokers cough all the time, but kids don't cough all the time, generally." And that's why it's like, all right, that kid was probably sick, and he's at the store, and it was a packed store. It's like, why didn't you leave him in the car? But he might not be sick at all, and that's the thing. But I'm pretty sure that if you if you have the coronavirus, like from the symptoms I'm reading, if they're like what I felt when I had the flu, you are so sick you don't want to leave. Like in, you don't want to go anywhere because you're miserable. All right, so, um, yeah, lawmakers make a law. Lawmakers protect this economy because the feds fed can't do it. This is up to Congress. The only people that can save um, can save our economy right now is Congress. And um, yes, that will hurt us in the sh like that will hurt our money. But it's a, we have to do it. Like sometimes you need to be a socialist because you have to because extreme circumstances.